Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord, our God is good, mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. We thank God for God. May the Lord bless you all. We greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. This is Virtual So Many Christ uh, Ministry. We thank God. This is our Sunday service. Almighty God, we thank God for his goodness, for his lovely kindness, for bringing us once again to gather at his presence, to worship him, to, to bless his holy name. We bless the name of the Lord in Jesus. And may the Lord bless you all in Jesus. Jesus, and hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Shall we have a word of prayer? Oh, Heavenly Father, the King of Nations of this, Father, we give you all the glory, we give you all the honor, we give you all the praise, Almighty God. And I will thank you, Almighty God, for another Sunday of the year. And I will thank you for your care for us. We thank you for your protecting us, O Lord. We thank you for your providing us for us, O Lord. Father, we thank you for this service, Almighty God, right now that we, that we are beginning right now, Father, Almighty God. But Almighty God, come and have your way in the way that we are sinning against you, Lord. And I forgive us, Father, everything that will be done in this ministry today, in this service today, Father, let it bring glory to your holy name in Jesus. Jesus name. And Almighty God, you the hedge of protection around our Father. And Almighty God, send your angels to, to stay your sons to your daughter that you want them to hear the message that you have given to your servant to, to deliver to us to the Father. Let them tune in, Almighty God. Let them join, Almighty God, and let the word that coming from your true room, Father, change each and every one of us for your glory in Jesus name. And I go, we thank you. We give you all the glory of the honor and the prayer, Father. We commit this service unto your hand, Almighty God, from the beginning to the end, Father. Let your will be done. Have your way in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, every power that want to, any power that want to stop your children not to listen, not to hear your word, Father, come down by yourself and destroy that power and destroy that power in the name of Jesus. My all powers belong to you in Jesus. And thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. To the name of God, we bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for God. We bless his holy name in Jesus' name. So <clears throat> now we are going to start. Our, our 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 service right now hallelujah to to the lamb of god by by opening prayer by opening prayer i will call upon the servant of god for the opening prayer evangelization may the lord bless you man. you are muted man. and the lord bless you sorry God bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Happy Sunday once again. We want to thank God for today. He's so mighty. He has been faithful to us. He carried us to this day. It is not by power. It is not by mind. But it is just by the spirit of the living God. I am going to say the word of prayer before we continue in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God Almighty, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for being great, for being mighty, for being faithful. We thank you, Lord God, for what only you can do in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we commit ourselves, our brethren online to you, Lord. We pray, Father, that you are mighty and wonderful hands, oh Lord. Father, reach us today in the name of Jesus Christ. We commit everything that we are about to do, oh Lord, to you, Father. I pray the O Lord God Almighty that may we take control over every situation, everything that we are doing in the name of Jesus. Blessed be that name, O Father. We cover ourselves with the precious blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let us quickly have a word of the Lord. We have the Bible in the book of Psalms, chapter 117. Psalms chapter 117. Amen. He said, Oh, praise the Lord. All ye nation, praise him, all ye people, for his mercy, for, for his merciful kindness is great towards us, and the truth of the Lord endured forever. Praise he the Lord. Oh my God, we have a lot of things we can praise God for, a lot of things. Only his truth that will never change is enough for us to praise him. Only his mercy is enough for us to praise him. Only for him to give us the breath today, we can breathe air in and out, is enough to praise his holy name. We are going to go through this praise with, by singing for him. We are going to lift up his name higher in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lifting more higher, lift Jesus higher, 
Lift Jesus higher, lift our God higher, the King of King higher. Our God is good, I will lift him up higher. Oh, everywhere I go, I will lift him up higher. Oh, lift Jesus higher, oh, lift Jesus higher. Oh, lift our God higher, oh, lift the King higher, the King of Kings higher, the Lion of Judah higher, shaking our glory. Aya, our Lord is good. I will lift him up. Aya, everywhere I go, I will lift him up. Oh yes, lift Jesus. Aya, oh lift Jesus. Aya, oh lift him up. Aya, oh lift the King. Aya, oh lift our God. Aya, the Lord is good. I will lift him up. Aya, oh everywhere I go, I will lift him up. Aya, oh. Our God is good, I will lift him up. I everywhere I go, I will lift him up. I am cast your burden unto Jesus, for he cares for you. Cast your burden unto Jesus, for he cares for you. Haya, 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 oh lift of Jesus, haya, 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 haya. Haya haya, oh little Jesus, haya haya, haya haya, haya haya, haya haya, haya haya, a lift of Jesus, haya, oh cast your burden unto Jesus, for he cares for you, cast your burden, oh yes, unto Jesus, for he cares for you, haya haya haya. Haya, 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 oh lift up Jesus, haya, 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 oh lift up Jesus, haya, 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 oh lift up Jesus, haya, oh yes, haya, 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 Oh, lift up Jesus, I am. Jesus, you are worthy. Savior, that are worthy. I'll praise your name forevermore. Eh? For you alone I want it to be praised. I will praise your name forevermore. Eh? For you alone I want it to be praised. Jesus, you are the rock of ages. Savior, oh, you are worthy. Lord, I worship you forevermore. For you alone, I want it to be praised. I will exalt your name forevermore. For you alone, I want it to be praised. You are what you alone, I want it to be praised. You alone, I want you alone, I want it to be praised. Lord, you are what you are. alone, I want it to be praised. Lord, you are what you Die long I want it already, my you are what ye. Die long I want it to be praised, Lord, you are what ye. Die long I want it, Alpha Omega, you are what ye. Die long I want it to be praised, Lord, you are what ye. Die long I want it to be praised, Lord, you will long I want it to be praised, you are what ye. You will long I want it to be praised, you will long I want it to be praised, oh, you are what ye. You will not know what the Jehovah you are what ye. You will not know what it to be praised, Lord. You are what ye. You will not know what it to be praised, 
Lord, you are what you are. Thy alone are what you to be praised. Lord, you are what you are. You alone are what you are. Jehovah Jireh, you are what you are. You alone are what you to be praised. Lord, you are what you are. You alone are what you to be praised. Oh, you alone are what you to be praised. Bye bye. Oh, you alone are what you to be praised. And you alone are what you to be praised. Daddy. Oh, you alone are what you to be praised. Oh, you alone are what you to be praised. The rock of ages. Oh, you alone are what you to be praised. Oh, Father, you alone are what you to be praised. You are the real God. Oh, you alone are what you. Oh, Jehovah, you are what you. I don't know what it to be praised. Oh, you are what ye. You are not know what it to be praised. Lord, you are what ye. You are not know what it to be praised. Lord, you are what ye. You are not know what it. Jehovah, you are what ye. You are not know what it to be praised. Lord, you are what ye. You are not know what it to be praised. Oh, you are what ye. You are not know what it to be praised. Oh, you are what ye. You are not know what it to be praised. Hallelujah. The Lord is worthy to be praised. He is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy. Hallelujah. Our God is worthy. He's the mighty God. He's the faithful God. He's the glorious God. He's the glorious God. Let us begin to worship him. Let us worship him in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Worthy. You are worthy. King of kings, love of God, you are worthy, worthy, you are worthy. King of kings, love of God, I worship you, I worship you, Lord, Lord, you are worthy. King of kings, love of God, you are worthy, worthy, you are worthy. King of kings, love of God, I worship you. I praise you, I praise you, oh Lord, I praise you, yes, we praise you, Lord, oh, oh Lord, Father in our life, Lord, we see what you are doing. One more time, Father, we lift our voice in praise of your name. We lift our voice in praise of your name. We praise you. We praise you. We praise you. Oh, Lord, yes, we praise your name. We praise you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We praise you. Oh, Lord, Daddy, we exalt your name in your life. Lord, we see what you are doing. One more time, Lord, we raise our voice in praise of your name. We raise our voice in praise of your name. Let your holy water flow over I soul. Let the Holy Spirit come and take control in every situation that I draw. We are my Lord, or I can't and bonded unto the as well. Jesus, 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 sing to the Father, Father, mighty Father, Father, not to the Spirit, Spirit, Holy Spirit, Spirit, 
Let us lift up our voice to begin and begin to worship the Lord. Let us exalt his holy name. He is worthy, he is worthy, he is mighty, he is faithful. Let us begin to praise him in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jesus 
Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We thank God for God. We thank God for the servant of God. We thank God for your life, ma. May the Lord bless you, ma, for this uh, opening prayer. We thank God in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. It is time right now for us to worship our Father, our Maker, our Redeemer. We bless His holy name in Jesus' name. So I will call upon our choir in Cameroon, the, our youth choir in Cameroon for the praise and worship. May the Lord bless you all and for coming to help us, O Lord, by the, by, the, by the help of the Holy Spirit. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just a few minutes since. Okay. Bless the name of the Lord. His word. Worthy to be praised. Worthy to be worshipped. Worthy to be other. Worthy to be magnified. Our God is mighty, mighty God that do mighty thing. Thank you, Father. We worship you for who you are. We worship you, King of glory. We worship you since of days. Wonderful. Please, please put me in. Yeah. This one is problem. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Our God is God. Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah. Glory, 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 hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless God, we bless his soul in him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus of this. Wonderful God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's another moment again for us to sing praise to God. Amen. 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 Give glory to the Lord. Amen. Give glory to the Lord. Amen. We give glory to the Lord, we reign. We give glory, we give glory to the Lord, we reign. We give glory to the Lord, we reign. We reign, we reign, we reign. We give glory to the Lord, we reign. We give glory to the Lord, we reign. We give glory to the Lord in the name. We give glory, we give glory, we give glory to the Lord in the name. We give glory to the Lord in the name. We give glory to the Lord in the name. 
Jesus, there is no one like you. 
Bikadawapose, Jehovah. Bikadawapose. You are bigger than what people say, Jehovah. Bigger than what people say, Jehovah. You are good. You are kind. You are bigger than what people say, Jehovah. You are good. You are kind. You are bigger than what people say. You are my God. What people say, Lord. You are my God, what people say, Jehovah. You are good, Jehovah, you are kind. You are my God, what people say, Jehovah. You are good, Jehovah, you are kind. You are my God, what people say. You are my God, what people say. You are my child, what people say, Jehovah. You are good, you are kind, you are my child, what people say, Jehovah. You are good, Jehovah. You are kind, you are my child, what people say. You are greater than what people call you, Lord. You are greater than what people call you, Jehovah. You are the Jehovah. You are the one they call you, Jehovah. You are you are You are better than what people say. and begin to thank God. Thank God for the praise and worship. Thank God to make you to be among the living. Thank God for the new year that you have seen. Prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. My God, my Father, we give you all the glory and the the praise of Lord, Father. We thank you for your goodness, for your lovely kindness, Lord, Father. We thank you, Lord, Almighty God, for this praise and worship, for your giving us the grace of mighty God. We thank you, Jesus. We bless you. 
Thank you so much. We appreciate you, Lord. Father, thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. May the Lord bless you us. May the Lord bless you for this uh, praise and worship. May the Lord bless you in return in Jesus' name. Amen. We are seeing the mood of worshiping our Father, our Savior, our Redeemer. So we are going to our hymn right now, and we call upon the servant of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Evangelist John, may the Lord bless you, man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are muted, ma. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to our Lord Jesus Christ. We want to thank God again as today. We are still going to, we are continuing, we are still praising our God. We are still, we are still lifting our God's name. We are still lifting his name higher in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are going to sing the hymn to the Lord, Marching Unto Zion. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. The hymn we are singing is Marching Unto Zion. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Come we that love the Lord and let our joy be known. Join in the song we see story. Join in the song we see accord. And thus surround the crown and thus surround the crown. We march into Zion. Beautiful, beautiful Zion. We march in our world to Zion, the beautiful city of God. We march in, we march in to Zion, beautiful, beautiful Zion. We march in our world to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Yes, we march in, we march in to Zion. Beautiful, beautiful Zion, we march in our world to Zion, the beautiful city of God. We sing in unto Zion, beautiful, beautiful Zion, we sing in our world to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Yes, we sing in. We sing in to Zion. Beautiful, beautiful Zion, we sing in our world to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Yes, we sing in, we sing in to Zion, the beautiful, beautiful Zion, we sing in our world to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Let those refuse to sing who never know our God. But to them of the heavenly king, but to them of the heavenly king, must speak their joy abroad, must speak their joy abroad. We march into Zion, oh, beautiful, beautiful Zion. We march in our to Zion. Yeah, the beautiful city of God. Yes, yeah, we march in, march in to Zion. Beautiful, beautiful Zion. We march in onward to Zion. The beautiful city of God. The hill of Zion is a thousand sacred streets. Before we read the heavenly field, before the we, we read the heavenly field, or oh, walk the golden street, or oh, walk the golden street, we march in, we march in to Zion, a beautiful, beautiful Zion, we march in our to Zion. 
the beautiful city of God. We march in, we march in to Zion. Beautiful, beautiful Zion. We march in on what to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Then let us. Then let us sun above and every tear be dry. We are marching to Emmanuel ground. We are marching to Emmanuel ground. To fairy world in high, to fairy world in high. We marching, we marching to Zion. Yes, Lord, beautiful, beautiful Zion. We marching onward to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Oh, we sing it, we sing it to Zion. Beautiful, beautiful Zion. We sing it onward to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Oh, we marching, we marching to Zion. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful Zion. We march in our world to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Amen. Praise Hallelujah. Me. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. May the Lord bless you, ma. May the Lord increase you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Fresh anointing from above unto you all in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We are marching on to the Zion. Almighty God, one day we'll be there by the grace of God in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Now we are going for our Bible reading. And we call upon our, our young pastor by the grace of God to to read the, the word of God for us by the grace of God in Jesus' name. Brad Jesse, may the Lord bless you, my brother. Hallelujah. Brad Jesse. Brad Jesse, are you there? <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Project Saint. Mm. Hallelujah to the man of God. We bless any month of Lord. Hallelujah. Our God is good. We bless his holy name. He's worthy. Worthy to be praised, worthy to be worshipped. We are waiting for our brother to come. Hallelujah. Just exercise patience with us. And the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. We thank God for God. We thank God for God. Hallelujah. He, he was having some connection issue. Ah, okay. Mm. Okay. Bless the name of the Lord. So our brother have a connection issue. Bless the name of the Lord, his word. His word, his word. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh. Praise Master Jesus. Okay, Brad Jesse, the Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. 
Jensen, are you ready? Because we are waiting for you to read. You won't let me do anything? What? Reading the word of God. If you are not ready, just say like so that you can move on. Because of the time. Sorry, Steve. Uh, uh, let me just read the the word. Uh, Jason says uh, uh, this thing is breaking. He just called me back now. He just tried to get to me. He's breaking. He can't join. He, he doesn't know what is going on. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm taking the text from uh, the book of um, the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 26, verse 36 to 39. He said, Then cometh Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane, and said unto the disciples, Sit ye here, why I go and pray yonder. 37. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and began to be sorrowful and very heavy, 38. Then said he unto them, my soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry here and watch with me, 39. And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed saying, oh my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. May God bless the reading of his word. Amen. May the Lord bless you, Ma. We thank God for the Bible reading, Matthew 26. Matthew 26, we thank God for our lovely Jesus, for the price that he paid for us. We are really grateful to Almighty God. May the Lord bless you, Ma, for that and for the Bible reading in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah to the name of God. Right now, testimony time. Testimony time, blessing time. I know all of us, we've got a testimony. And on that brand new day, Father God, I thank God for God, for counting us with you and that we are more than living. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Testimony time. Hallelujah, Evangelist John. May the Lord bless you, man. Amen. Amen. I am giving this testimony on behalf of a sister in the church. And it's to concern all of us in the midst. You are muted, ma. That I want to thank God that uh, last three weeks ago, a son of our sister made an accident. The accident was very serious. Even when they called me, they sent me the picture of that accident. I didn't know it would get up, but somehow I did not, I did not have fear in my heart. My heart was at peace. So even when I pray over and I told the mother don't to be worried, it's going to be okay. It was just faith. It was faith. But today we are thanking God because no matter how the enemy did, because that day he was on top of the bike and he he ride another girl, he carry another person in the back. And thank God he carried that person, he give that person a lift. Nobody will have known what happened to him because he made the accident like that. He fall in the gutter and the and plank cover him under. So no one could discover. It was that girl that cried. He said, You people should search. Help, help. Hmm. And while searching, they saw his leg and they checked the plan. They carried him to the hospital. We are thanking God today because he is alive. He's walking. The Lord has healed him. I praise the name of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hmm. Amen. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Ha, we thank God for God. We bless the name of the Lord. He is always there to protect his children. To provide. Hey, we thank God. We thank God. We bless his soul. In the, we thank God for this testimony. May the Lord give him more, more, more strength and to, to recover speedily in the name of Jesus Christ. Who oh, we thank God for his life in Jesus' name. Amen. So I will call upon mm -hmm. our sister. Sister Regine, may the Lord bless you, ma'am. Amen. I just want to testify about the deliverance of the Lord in my life. I really, I just want not to, not to, not only for me to encourage other brother and sister in Christ to persevere, because uh, it's only by the God, by God's grace that um, I really persevere until now, because it, it's, I've been persecuted more than 20 years by my husband you know but i was just crying unto god i even tell one of her sister jean i told her recently that before even the deliverance come i told her that i, I one night I, I one day i was just praying i said god i'm just tired of this persecution i just want to give up i'm tired lord other sister in christ they have been persecuted by their husband they're not they know that much what's going on with me god what's going on that you cannot deliver me i'm tired I was just crying, crying. I mean, but when I was saying that, when I was praying like that, I said, no, this is the devil. I will not give up. I will not give up. I will just keep on crying unto God until he deliver me. And finally, he just delivered me like, I don't know. I, I, it's like I'm, I'm, dream, I'm just dreaming because I was coming back from work one morning. I was just, joy, I mean, joy was just full in my heart. I was just praising God in the car, happy, happy. Finally, I'm delivered, God, I'm delivered, you deliver me. I was so happy, crying out to God that, oh, God, Father, you did it in my life. You did it, you did it. Each time I'm in the presence of God with my sister and brother, I don't have peace. My ear are just open that if somebody will open the door, I will just shut everything. Yes, I was not concentrated each time we are in the prison. I was not, I was just looking at the time for the time to pass fast before he will come and open the door. Say, what are you doing here? You know, I was just, I mean, I was not concentrated, but by God's grace from today, I'm delivered. I did not, I cannot go in, into detail because it's going to be long, you know, but I just want to thank God for his deliverance in my life and encourage others mm -hmm. that are going through the same thing to persevere mm -hmm. because it depends. The mm -hmm. time of God is the best. Some people will mm -hmm. tell them like one year, two years, but mine is for more than 20 years that I've been going through it. But God has sustained me. And finally, mm -hmm. he did it in my life. May all Amen. the glory, praises be unto you. Amen. Amen. This is my Amen. testimony. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the living God. Wow, wow, wow. More than 20 years be persecuting by husband. How many years? Jay, may I thank God for your life. Aye, aye, aye. Aye, aye. Aye, aye. Aye, aye. Aye, Jesus. Thank he you. has lifted up higher, yeah, yeah, yeah. He lifted us higher, yeah, yeah, yeah. He has lifted us higher, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Over to you, my sister. Is there too much joy? Hallelujah. 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 Thank God for setting you free from bondage. Oh my Lord, now you can, you have peace to be in the presence of your Father, Almighty God. You don't have to mm. fear anymore. That slap mm. is coming, that beating is coming upon you. Mm. Hey, Jesus, you are awesome. Awesome. And you no, know, many of our sisters, they are passing through this day, this uh, persecution from their husbands. They don't have the freedom to serve the living God. Oh, Almighty God, that fought your battle for you. If we fight for our sisters out there that going through this, the same problem, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank God for your life, man. We thank God. May the Lord continue strengthening you. May the Lord continue holding you to the end. May the Lord that brought peace to your home continue letting the peace rain and rain and rain until he call you home in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We see this testimony with the precious Lord of the Lamb of God. Amen. 
can we bless Amen. the name of the Lord? Testimony time, blessing time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We testify. We bless the name of the Lord. I will testify he, the goodness of God in my life. I bless the name of the Lord. Uh, today is my uh, anniversary, uh, my marriage anniversary. I just want to thank God for, for, <laughs> for starting my marriage. Almighty God is worthy. He is mighty. I just thank God for his goodness. Thank God for my husband's life. Thank God for my children's life, for keeping us, for building my marriage upon this upon this solid rock. Father God said, unless uh, God Almighty, He's the one that built the house. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. I thank God for my marriage anniversary. May the Lord bless, may the Lord bless my marriage for his own glory more and more in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you all. This is my testimony in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for the testimony, Almighty God. We thank you, Almighty God, Father. We see this testimony with your precious blood of oh, Jesus Christ. Father, all oh, the world one that didn't have a testimony right now, Father, give them grace, oh Lord. Give them testimony next week. We have testing that we have something to testify for your glory in Jesus. And thank you, everlasting Redeemer, in Jesus' mighty name. We are prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. So right now we are going to welcome our followers on online. We are going to and then may the Lord bless you all, wherever you are, there, that you are to, you tuning in right now, joining the, this uh, service right now. May the Lord bless you for tuning in, for joining up. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. So I'm welcoming each and every one of us in the forum. May the Lord bless you all. I welcome Evangelist Marie. May the Lord bless you, my Evangelist uh, John. May the Lord bless you, my sister Regine. May the Lord bless you, my sister. In Jesus' name. Oh, I welcome Pastor Ned James. May the Lord bless you, sir. Brother Samuel, may the Lord bless you, sir. And the Brad Jesse, may the Lord bless you, my brother. In Jesus' name. May the Lord bless me as well. In Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you all. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So this is the time we are waiting for to eat the word of the Lord as the word of the Lord says to you and I, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God that proceeds of the hands of God. So right now we are going to pray for the servant of God, for God to anoint her fresh from above to put uh, his word into her mouth, for, to anoint her voice, anoint her lips, to deliver the word of the Lord for boldly in Jesus. And let us pray for the servant of God. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God, we bring your, we lift your servant to bind God before you, my God. Father, we're asking for you more of your show, my God. Anoint our Lord to deliver your word, Almighty God, as you want us to hear your word, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, Almighty God, give her the spirit of boldness to declare your word boldly, anoint her voice, anoint her lips, Almighty God, and in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we come against every spirit of distraction. We burn every spirit of distraction. We burn every spirit of distraction, every spirit of us, Almighty God. We come against those evil spirits. We burn them. We cast them, them out of our life right now in Jesus' name. Father, feed her afresh with your Holy Spirit in the name of with your fresh anointing in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Redeemer. Thank you, everlasting God. We plead the blood of just can know her and the household and the message that you have given to her to deliver out to us, America, in Jesus' mighty name. We are praying. Amen. May the Lord bless you, man. I welcome the evangelist. Evangelist Mary, may the Lord bless you, man, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us pray. King of glory, Father, we thank you <clears throat> once again. For your presence in our midst, Father, we glorify your holy name, Lord Father. We thank you for the grace that you gave us, Lord Father, to be in your presence, Lord Father, to hear what you have for us today. As you say, in your holy name, shall not be prayed in front of everybody that was in our world. Lord Father, God, Lord, we are here because of that world, Lord Father, to fill your esteem, Lord Father, to increase your wisdom, Lord Father, to be given to us, to be saved, to do your word, Lord Father, to let this word, Lord Father, to bring transformation in our life, not just in our life, but also in the life of all the followers, all the heroes. Those that are going to be across with this message in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, against this destruction that you make us not receive the blessing that you have for us. Father, we come against it in the name of Jesus. Father, open our spiritual ears, prepare our heart to hear the message and let our heart all of that receive it and let us be the door of it. Every word that you are going to give it to hear today in Jesus' mighty name and give us the grace of the door of it in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. So, <clears throat> happy Sunday. 
May the Lord bless you, Mami Jean, on behalf of that sister, son. May the Lord bless him. That is the plan of God that God now allowed. Whatever is happening to us, God always make a way for us to save. So I allowed him to give the lift so that he will be able to be saved. So we thank God for Sister Regine's testimony also. That is the goodness of God to encourage other people that is not just them. But God is also, if God can answer the prayer of 20 years of crying, he can also answer the prayer of another sister that is passing through this maybe five months, maybe one year, maybe five years. God is faithful. He never abandoned his children. Hallelujah. So going back to our message today, <clears throat> our message today is, <clears throat> this is the time. This is the time. It is time to avoid distraction. It is time to seek the Lord. Hallelujah. That is the topic of today. It is time to avoid distraction and seek the Lord. We are going to open our Bible in the book of Hosea's 10, 12 to 13. The book of Hosea's. Hosea 12 to um, 10, 12 to 13. <coughs> I read in Jesus' name. It says, <clears throat> So to yourselves in righteousness, reap in mercy, break up your fellow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord. Till he come and rain righteousness upon you. 13. Ye have plowed, ye, ye have plowed wickedness, ye have reaped iniquity, ye have eaten the fruit of lies. Because thou didst trust in the way, did the trust in thy way, in the multitude of the mighty man. Hallelujah. The word of God is telling us that we should show to ourselves, to sow to ourselves righteousness and to reap in mercy. Because when you live in righteousness, you obtain the mercy of God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> You obtain the mercy of God. Ye have plowed wickedness and have reaped iniquity. Ye have eaten the fruit of life. But this is the time now to seek God for repentance. This is time to seek God for mercy. This is the time to seek God for salvation. Hallelujah. It is time to seek the law with all our heart. It is time to repent and to amend our ways. It is not time to eat the fruit of life. Because we all know that our Lord Jesus is coming. And we know the sign of the coming of our Lord Jesus. And most of them has, it has been fulfilled. If you have to look around, just look around and see what is happening in the world. This is the time, you know. This is the time. <clears throat> if you see what is happening in the, in the world, you see that it's some of the signs. You can confirm that, you know, you can see one of the signs has been confirmed that Jesus is coming and this coming is not even far. As, as like Apostle Paul said that our salvation now is more near now than when we have started. When you are started, we didn't have to, we was not seeing all the signs. Now we see that this sign is showing us, if you read the book of uh, Matthew 24, you see the book of Revelation, you know that we are not far. It can be any time, it can be any moment. Some people died yesterday without seeing the sign that is going to happen tomorrow, but still, it will not stop them from facing their judgment. Hallelujah. So, this is the time to seek the Lord, to know, to know if you are right with Him. This is the time to seek the Lord to know if you are right with Him. How is our relationship with Him? How is the, the state of our heart, our salvation? Are we safe? For you to talk about salvation, the first thing you know, are you safe? Because if you are not safe, this is the time to seek to know whether you are safe or not. To seek the law, to know your relationship. It is time to build our one-to-one our -one relationship with God. Now that we uh, uh, now that we can, now that he can hear us and he can answer, 
and you can forgive us in our sin. It is the time that everything is available because the time is coming when you will seek God and he will not answer. It's not because he's not hearing you. Now he's available to hear you, to hear your confession. It's now available to hear your to to to, to hear you your repentance to accept it. He said, if you confess our sin, it's faithful to forgive and to cleanse us from our righteousness. It's available now to do that because the time is coming. When you cry, blood will come out. When you have to rip your clothes to be naked, to cover yourself with sand, but still, it cannot hear you. So let us see in the book of uh, Proverbs 1. The book of Proverbs 1. The book of Proverbs, chapter 1. Proverbs, chapter 1. Proverbs, chapter 1. Let us start from 28 to 33. In the book of 30, um, Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 28, say, Then shall they call unto me, or they shall them, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me earlier, but they shall not find me. For that day, for that, they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. 31, therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own ways and be filled with their own device. For the turn, the turning away of the simple shall, shall slay them and the prosperity of fool shall destroy them. But whoso he kept into me shall dwell safely, shall be quiet from fear of evil. Hallelujah. You see this? This is our Lord Jesus. And this is the word of God telling us. This is God telling us that in the time you come, they will seek. They will call. I will not answer. They will try to find me. They will seek to, to find me, they, they, to see me. They will not find me. They will not find me. You cry. You will not hear you. Why? Because you hated the knowledge. You hated the truth. You hated salvation. You hated the word of the word of God that is available to change from bad to good. The same way you are spicing the, 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 the commandment of God, you don't want to hear. They are telling you this is bad. You are stuck on it. You don't want to change. You are not willing to change. You are not paying attention. You just it doesn't matter. They are telling you that this is the time to repent. The way things are going, Jesus can show up. You can die and go to hell. Amend your ways. You are following your own way. The Bible said they are following their own ways. In 31, it said, therefore, shall they eat of the fruit of their own ways? The fruit of their own way. What is your way? What kind of, what is your way? Where do you go? What is the way that you are following? God said that you, you eat the fruit of the, the, the fruit of your own way. Because you are no longer in the way of salvation. You are no longer in the way of salvation. You have chosen your own way. The Bible is telling us that it's the way that seems right in the eyes of man. But in the eyes of God, he will lead you to destruction. He will kill you. He will lead you to hell. It is not the will of God. But because you choose to follow it. God is telling you, the word of God is telling you, you eat the fruit of the, the fruit of it. The, you face the consequences of it. You face the suffering of it. Because your way, the way you are choosing to live now, the way you are choosing to live your life without any correction, without every fear of God, that way, there is eternity waiting on that way. There is two eternity. There is eternity waiting in your own way that you choose. And there is eternity that you will be waiting in the way of the Lord. The way of the Lord, the Bible says that is life. It says in 33, it says, but whosoever he can unto me shall dwell safely. That is the way of the Lord. The way of the Lord will give you insurance of living safely. 
You have the hope of salvation by living a peaceful life, eternal peaceful life in heaven. That's what it is. But for those that are following their own ways, they will face the consequence of it because the protection of God, you won't be there. They will not make it to heaven because they choose to live their own life without the fear of God. That's why the Bible said that this is the time. If you are living your own life, you are following your own way, the way of your lust, the way that your heart is telling you, you are following your own nature that is not the nature God gave you to you, you are following the nature of the devil, to do the works of the devil, to live the life according to the will of the devil. You are choosing your own punishment. And by God is giving you an opportunity. God is giving you a new beginning, a new start. He said, return to him. Return to him. You are still having hope because you are, you are still alive. After that, there's no more repentance. There is no more salvation. So the time to seek the salvation of God, the salvation of your soul, it is now that he is available. He said he's available now because the time you come, you will call. You seek the Lord, he will not answer. This is the time to seek the Lord. Today is the day of salvation because tomorrow it might be your day of judgment. Yes, today is the time of salvation. You are hearing the word of God is for you to embrace it and repent and you change your ways and follow the way of the Lord. That the way that is safe for you and I. Because the time is coming. If you miss today, tomorrow it might be you are standing before God for judgment and they will judge you for the salvation that you rejected today. So, Seek the Lord now that you still have mercy available. Today you have mercy available. Because the time you come when the mercy will no longer be available to you. Because it is too late to repent. It is too late. Seek the Lord now that the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus is available to cleanse you from all your sin, from all your filthiness, to cleanse you from all iniquity. As the Bible is telling us in the book, in the, in the word of God we just read, to cleanse us from all iniquity, the filthiness of choosing our own way, by eating the fruit of lies, by walking iniquity, because the time is coming, this blood is no longer be available. After rapture, the blood of Jesus will no longer be available. You have to suffer. You have to tear your own blood. So this is the time. The blood of Jesus is available to cleanse us for all filthiness of the flesh and the spirit so we can perfect holiness according to the will of God, to live in the ways of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because very soon, that time, that blood, it cannot cleanse, it will not be able to cleanse anybody. It will not be able to cleanse you when you be in the presence of God, when you hear the part. There's nothing the blood of Jesus will do. There is nothing the name of God, the name of Jesus will do because it will be already too late. Because God has given us time. He has given you opportunity for you to, to come across this message, for you to know, for you to take yourself, for you to see your relationship with God. Is it still standing? Are you still standing? Are you safe? Many people, they are doing the work of God, but they are not safe. They are serving God, but they are not safe. They change their outside, but they are not safe. They are not saved because they are still eating the fruit of life, the fruit that is deceiving them. You are hearing the word of God, but you are not safe. You are doing the work of God, but you are not safe. You don't have any relationship, one one to one relationship with God. So, but today, you take your life. We know you know whether you're still standing or not. When you see the fire in your prayer altar, you, you, you used to pray for a long time. 
You used to pray constantly, but now you are finding it difficult even to hold the prayer for 30 minutes, to hold the prayer for an hour. You start giving so many excuses to do the work that you used to do with pleasure. We are still finding it difficult. Then you know that mm -mm -mm -mm, your prayer has gone down. Something wrong, something that is not common. This is the time when you see these things happening to you. You used to read your Bible like uh, nothing else. You have to use a pleasure when you read your Bible. You, you, you even forgot about the time. But now you forgot the time to read the Bible. You no longer have that appetite of eating the word of God. You start giving a skin. Oh, um, these days, oh, I'm just feeling. This is the sign that you are separating gradually with God. The fire is going down. The enemy has attacked, attacked your prayer altar. Your enemy is attacking your spiritual life. When you see like that is the time to seek the Lord, to go back for restoration. Say, God, something is happening. The enemy has attacked. attacked my, you know, where my strength is. Our strength is in the word of God. Our strength is in prayer. When you cannot pray anymore, when you cannot read the word of God that is your, your weapon and bullet, you are no longer a soldier. You are no longer a soldier. You become a victim in the hand of the enemy. Listen, you can be a soldier. You wear a uniform as a soldier. If you don't have gun, nobody will be afraid of you. That's because you are wearing uniform. No, they will not be afraid of you. It's just like a, 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 a Christian without a prayerful life and without reading the word of God. You are nothing to the eyes of the enemy. You cannot even bring fear to the devil. Neither to the demon. They will play your life like something else. But when you are a prayerful, you read the word of God, you, are, you, you know how to, you know what you need in that moment. You know the word of God to use against the enemy in that moment, depend of any challenges, you are prepared. The enemy will, will be afraid of you. You'll be afraid. So when the enemy wants to attack somebody, he starts in two places. He will wake you from reading the word of God, and then he starts attacking your prayer life. And most of the time, the challenge can bring your prayer life, also your prayer altar down. You see, too much challenges. He will make you, instead of praying, you start focusing on your problem. He will come, you know, he will be drawing your fire by the time you see. Instead of praying, you are crying. And the time you are wasting crying, the enemy is busy doing his assignment. By the time you see, you cannot pray for 30 minutes anymore. Ah, you, the problem is too, the heaviness of that problem has made you to be in the way that you cannot even stand and pray or kneel down and pray. When you see things are happening like this, is the time to ask God, say, Father, only you can take me out of this situation. They have attacked my prayer altar. There's something that is happening, only you. And you ask God for restoration. When you seek the Lord, he will come and deliver. He will come and help. Hallelujah. When you say like that, don't wait until the, the remaining fire that is making you to have that knowledge that is something is happening to go down. Do not allow the complete separation between you and the Holy Spirit. Because that one, if you come to that stage, you don't want to be that stage. That stage is not a good stage for any, any believer to be. When you start to look here warm, you are in between. You don't know. That is the danger position. Because our Lord Jesus in the book of Revelation will spit you out. He cannot handle you. Because you, are, you don't know your position, whether you are a Christian or you are a sinner. You are in between. You are doing both. You commit sin, you pray. You commit sin, you read your Bible. You commit sin, you're even pretending that you are fasting. You are in between. You don't know who you are. You don't know who you are. According to you, because I'm still praying, I'm okay. I'm still reading the word of God, I'm okay. But what about that life that is not pleasing God you are still doing? What about those things that God hates? You are still embracing them. It's the one that is making you to not to know your position. Whether you are a believer or you are not a believer. When you are a sinner, you like a sinner. When you come in the house of God, you pretend to be like them. You are taking the, the, the identity of old Peter. 
before he became the really apostle. Peter was just like that. That's how Apostle Paul did need to rebook him. Because he was in between. You don't know whether you are hot. You don't know whether you are cold. You are just in between, in between. You need to show your position. This is the time to seek the Lord, to say, Father, the thing that I want to do, I end up doing that them not the good thing that you be apostle Paul now to say that yes, I really want to come out of that life, but it doesn't depend on me. Anytime I take the decision to come out of it, I end up finding myself in that life again. Only you can deliver me. It's time to seek the Lord for deliverance. It's time to say, God, I cannot myself, I have no power. Help me. Isn't it what he said? He said, if you confess, you confess your weakness before God. You say, I'm so weak. He's stronger than me. God say he's faithful. He's faithful because you know, you have seen your heart. You don't want that kind of life. You take decision. You come out of it, but you have no strength. He will come to help you. He say he's faithful. If you confess that I want to come out of it, but I cannot. Only you can help me. That's how we come, you step in. But if you stay comfortable with that life, there is, he cannot come and take you out of the life that is giving you comfort. You have to take that decision to say that I don't want it anymore and that did the new fast and freedom. Hallelujah. So we are living in the days that people are busy doing wrong things, thinking that they have time to repent. Some of them, they don't even believe they are doing wrong things. According to them, they are right. What they are doing is right. You understand? They are doing, they are busy doing wrong things rather than seeking to rather than you know doing the good things and try to you know to seek to know God more. The distraction, the, the, the distraction is so deep instead of to seek to know God more. To increase the knowledge that you have so far. To try to increase it. To get to another level. But the distraction will not allow many people to come to, to take that decision. Father, I want to know you more. I want to have this relationship where I can talk and you answer me. When I find myself in an emergency situation, Father, you don't need to wait for tomorrow. Look at Elijah. Elijah was a man like you and I. He had blood and flesh like you and I. He found himself in an emergency situation that he did, not know, he did not need to go into fast in that moment. It was an emergency thing. God needed to answer that emergency prayer. Do we ever find ourselves in an emergency situation and God reacts? It can happen, depend of your relationship with him. It can happen, depend of your relationship with him. Can you cry and your tears is disturbing God? God said, I need to do something. Why is she crying? You understand? It is a major thing, but for it to happen, we need to have that strong relationship. Try to get more closer to God, to get to know Him more, to know how to please Him. For those that know how to please God, God is so faithful. He's so faithful, never disappoint His own. He said, "Those that He seek to know, He say, but whoso He get unto Me shall dwell safely." And shall be quiet from the fear of the devil, the, 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 the evil. So when the enemy is coming to attack you, you are quiet, just like Elijah. Elijah said, pour water. Make sure you pour enough water. He was quiet, even looking at them, how they were cutting their, their skin, trying to call their, their God. Elijah was quiet until the moment came to glorify God and God honored him. Because he knew how to seek the Lord. He knew how to seek the Lord in the right time. In many situations, we as the children of God, we need to learn. What we have to avoid in our life is distraction. It's distraction. 
Distraction will make you not to focus. Distraction will make you to forget so many things. It will make you to forget to seek the Lord, to ask the will of God. Distraction. That's how the enemy do. Distraction will not make you to see your own mistake. You focus on other people's mistakes. You will make sure you focus on other people's mistakes, not yours. Because if you focus on your mistake, you are not distracted. You are sober. You are watchful. Isn't it? You are taking it about your life. You are mending your ways. That's why you are taking every single thing. You don't want when the enemy spots you. Immediately you know that the blood of Jesus is available. You cleanse yourself from that filthiness. You don't want the sun to go down in that sin because you know the danger of dying in a moment and without confessing. But the enemy will now bring distraction. He'll tell you that you are okay with God. Can't you see the way God is answering your prayer? The way you are preaching these days. You are with God. Forget if you're not with God, the anointing will not be there. Many people went to hell with the anointing. They was anointed by God. But because they did not take heed, they did not seek the Lord, they were so relaxed inside, deep into destruction. They end up and they end up like the way they ended up. I was called by God. Judah was called by God too. He was among the disciples, but did he make it to heaven? Did he, honor, did he receive the, the honor that Jesus prepared for his disciples? Did he, did, did he receive it? I see some people saying that, eh, let, me just, I'm okay. let me just do the work of God. My reward is waiting. For you to be start thinking about your reward, you must enter first. Because your reward you will be there because God says he's faithful. God is faithful. He will keep it for you. Each time you do good thing, your reward will be there waiting. But for you to collect it, you must enter. And for you to enter, you must be qualified to enter. It's not just entering. You need to be qualified. Because it's not for everybody that's called to go there. It's, for, it's about those that are chosen to go there. It's about those that are qualified to go there. Those that will keep themselves in the standard of God. And the standard of God, for you to know the standard of God, you must constantly be in, the, in his presence. Prayer, fasting, and reading the word of God. The word of God is the one that will make you to know his will. The word of God is, is the one that will make you to know him better. It's through his word because he himself is the word of God. It's the word of God that makes when you say that God doesn't like lies. God doesn't like this one, that living double life. You already know how to correct yourself. That you are getting you are in the right way. You cannot say that I want to make it to heaven, but you are still distracted. You are still focusing on the thing on your own way. You are walking in your own way, and you say you want to go to heaven. There is only one way to heaven, and this is the way of the Lord. It's not in your own way that you make it to heaven. That you make it to heaven. Hallelujah. Like I say, we are living in the, in the days that we have to be sober. We have to be very careful. Because our judgment now is going to be worse than those of our all time. Because those that are at all time, they did not have uh, they did not have a, a freedom to call one God one to one. They have to pass through priests. Do you understand? But we we can be in your room. You are talking with God. You are calling God. We have the blood of Jesus. We have the Holy Spirit. So what would you say, God? Now that because I did not have money to buy lamb to go to the the, the high priest to do a, a sacrifice for me purification for me. That's why I, I find myself in this position. The blood of Jesus is available. Why don't you seek the Lord to deliver you in any situation you may find yourself? Today is the day of today is the day of salvation. Seek the Lord now. Don't wait for tomorrow because tomorrow may be may never come to you. Tomorrow may be the day of the judgment that you, you don't want to face because you are not prepared for it. Let us quickly go to Psalm 14, the book of Psalm 14. 
Psalm chapter 14. Uh, Psalm 14, let's read. Um, let me just read. Um, let me start from verse 2 to 4. The Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of man to see if there is where any man did understand. Sorry. The Lord, I repeat. The Lord looked down from heaven in upon the children of man to see if there is if there is where any man any that did understand and seek God. They are all gone aside. They are all gone aside. They are all together become filthy. There is not there is none that doeth good. Not no one. Can you imagine? God is looking at us. The children of men, nobody's doing well. Anybody that you relax in that to say that I'm right with God, the God, God is not the word of God is telling you, you can be right today, and the next one hour you are not right anymore. So let us take heed when you think that you are standing. We should seek the Lord any moment of our life to purify ourselves, to make ourselves right, because you may think you are right with God, but God is saying that looking at the earth, nobody, including you and I that am preaching this world. If today is our last day, maybe we have something that James to tell you stand against. May we always constantly ask him for mercy now that mercy is available. Verse 4. Verse 4. Have all workers of iniquity no knowledge who eat up my people as they eat bread and call not upon the Lord? Commit sin. You are living a righteous life and you are not calling upon the Lord for mercy. You are not calling upon the Lord to help, to take you out of that, of that life. God is looking at us right now and is not seeing anybody that seeks the Lord, seeks him. Nobody is seeking, is seeking the Lord. Can you imagine how deep, this, how deep this world is? The world is big. All of us. All of us, we are always praying. We are reading our Bible. We are fasting. Some people can go to drive fasting for how long? But God looking at you, he says nothing good is happening in your life. You are still a sinner. You are still not right with me. We should not boast. That's why uh, Abraham Jacob would say in the, the title of his book, he said, do not glory it. It's not because the gift is there doing its assignment. You think that you are right with God. Let us always be careful so that James 2 10 will not stand against us. We should not be relaxing to say that, oh, I pray God answer me, therefore I'm right with him. Maybe God is just honoring. He said, in the name of Jesus, he said, whatsoever ask in prayer, believe him, he shall receive. Matthew 21, 22. Whatsoever you ask in prayer, believe him. Believe in God, you honor his name when you trust him. He's faith. But what about salvation? What about entry into his kingdom? That one is another one. You have to walk on it. There is a walk behind salvation. There is a walk behind salvation. Salvation is not just I give my life to Jesus and you relax. You have to fight. Day by day, because you become you are already the enemy of Satan. Now you are declared war with Satan. By the time you give your life to Christ, you declare war. It's like you are telling Satan, I don't want to be your servant anymore. I choose to be the servant of God. I'll be I choose to be the child of God. Satan has said you so you was a bond, you are put in the bondage. Now you decide to come out there. Eh? You decide you claim war with him. Then you enter a battlefield where you, you have to be fighting him day by day. And you have the assignment to win him so you can make it to heaven. Hallelujah. So you can make it to heaven. We are praying every day, seeking God through fasting and prayer. And when God look at us, the only thing you can see is disappointment. Many churches are opening day and night. You see the new church. Somebody's opening church today as we are praying like this. 
Somebody is opening church. Somebody is getting a revelation that the God wants to uh, want to serve God. Somebody, God is raising somebody every second. But how many people are ready to enter in the kingdom? If it's not the mercy of God, how many people will enter? How many people will enter? How many we are in the body of Christ, but we are not seeking God? We are seeking challenges. Hey, they have more members than me. I have more members than them. They are seeking challenge, cooperation. They want to compete inside the body of Christ. Who is seeking God? Who is seeking God for real? To say, God, I don't care whether they will come or they will not come as long as I'm right with you. Who is doing that? Hatred upon hatred, jealousy upon jealousy is the one that is happening in the body of Christ. And God is looking, is waiting. Who is going to seek me? Who is going to who is willing to enter into my kingdom? That is what God is looking to see. But when you see fighting each other inside the body of Christ, hating each other inside the body of Christ, and that very body will never ready for rapture. He's not even ready for revival, topless of rapture. You know? Why all those things are, are, are happening? Because we are not seeking him with our heart. We are seeking him with our lip, with our mouth, but our heart is far from him. Our heart is far from him. The heart that is supposed to be the one that our law is dwelling, the word of God is dwelling, it's full of evil. There's no space for the Holy Spirit. When is the revival going to take place? When is the church going to come together? When? When is the church coming together in unity and love? Destruction is not even making them to know that area. Destruction is so deep in the body of Christ. Challenges, bitterness, hatred, covetousness, fighting one another. This one is no call. I'm the one that God called. I'm the Elijah. The one said that I'm Moses. The one said I'm this, this, I'm this, that. Who is seeking to see God? Everybody wants to be known. I want to do it so that people can know me. Who are you that people want to know? Do you have heaven to give people? No. Let us, it's Jesus that you are promoting. It's not ourselves. It is not ourselves. It's God that we need to know more. Not a human being. Who cares about you? You ask the fire to come down. We know that uh, Elijah asked the fire to come down. Are we praying for Elijah? Are we praying to Elijah? Elijah to answer our prayer? No. We forgot about Elijah. We only read Elijah in the Bible. What we, we are more interested is God that you have a heaven to give us. To have salvation to give us. That can protect us in the rough to come. That can make us to dwell safely even when the, evil, the enemy is preparing an evil day for us. He said, you'll be quiet. Because he's there to fight your battle. He's there to protect you. That is what God wants from us. This one was given to us. <clears throat> this uh, this one was given to the Pharisees. Sorry. This one was given to the Pharisees. The warning that was given to the Pharisee, because the Pharisee, they like to, well, to show up. We are going to read it, but let me explain first. When the Pharisees are praying, they want to repent. They will, they, they will rent their, their, their robe, you know, they will rent it. They will put the sun, they will be beating their chest, putting it on their head, crying, showing that they are repenting, but their hearts never move. The hatred in that heart is still there. Lying, hypocrisy in that heart is still there. That's why the Bible said they, God gave them this warning. In the book of, let us turn there, the book of Joel 2. The book of Joel 2. Uh, let's go 12. 12 to 13. He said, therefore, also now, said the Lord, 
turn ye even into me with all your heart and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning. Verse 13, he said, and render your heart and not your garment. Render your heart and not your garment because it's the heart that God is tested to. To dwell there, to transform the heart. When the heart is transformed, your whole body is transformed. Your character will change. Your way of talking will change. Your way of walking will change. That's why I told them that you render your heart. He said, return. He said, therefore, also down, said the Lord, return ye unto me with all your heart and with fasting and weeping and with mourning. Because they'll be weeping, mourning, renting their clothes by their heart. But why by the time they'll finish their heart, the bitterness is still there, anger is still there, pride is still there, arrogance is still there, hypocrisy is still in their heart. So they were only renting their garment. They were not renting their heart. They was not seeking God with all their heart. That's why God told them that I'm not interested of all this uh, show, show up that you are doing, putting sand, renting your garment. It's your heart that I want to, to I want you to rent. Rent it out. Remove all the work of the flesh that is dwelling in it so that the Holy Spirit can take place, so that the fruit of spirit can come out of it. The transformation starts from our heart. Because the, the heart is desperately wicked. Only God can know, can know it. Because only God can know our heart. That's why he's telling us we should rent our heart because it's full of evil. Looking at us from heaven is not seeing anything good. It's not because we are not covering our body well. Because our heart, our heart, the sin is still having dominion in our heart. So he wants us to rent our heart, not our garments. He said, and render your heart and not your garment, and turn into the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and great in kindness, and repent him of his evil. If you render your heart, you repent from your heart, you remove all those work of the flesh, the Holy Spirit will come and dwell there. God is saying that he's gracious, is merciful to forgive us all our sin. You repent from the evil that he has prepared for you and I. If you really repent from our heart. If you really surrender our heart to him. God is calling his people genuinely to repent over their sin. He wants us to repent from our sin. To turn away, to change our ways of living. To call upon him. He's ready to answer us and to deliver us. Is ready to answer and deliver us. It says, let us quickly go to uh, Proverbs chapter 4. Proverbs chapter 4. Let's start, um, let's start from verse 21. It says, let them not depart from thy, thy eyes. Oh, let me start from 20. My son, attend to my words, incline thy ears into my saying. Let them not depart from thy eyes. Keep them in thy in the midst of thy, thy in the midst of thy eyes. Thy, thy eye, eyes, sorry. For they are life into those that found them, and the help to all their flesh. Hallelujah. 23. Keep thy heart with all diligence. For out of, out of it are the issues of life. Put away from thee a fro, um, fro, uh, fro old mouth and prevent lip. Put far from thee. Let thy eyes look right on. Look right on. And let thy eye lip look straight before thee. On the, on the part of thy feet. And let all thy way be established. Turn not to the right and not to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. That is the word of God that is telling us. He said, we should incline, we shall tend to the word of God. We should incline our heart to his instruction. We should not allow, we should not depart from the we should not depart from the, 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 the commandment of God. 
We should keep it in our heart. It said we should keep our heart with all diligence. We should be careful with our heart. Because in our heart, there is an issue of life. It depends on your life, on your heart for you to live eternal life in heaven. It depends in our heart. And for our heart to be able to be, for us to be able to keep our heart with all diligence, we need to always learn how to seek the Lord. For him to give us instruction that we need to keep in our heart. Show us the right way. For us to live a holy life, a righteous life, we cannot do it alone. We need the guidance. We need the instruction. We need the word of God to anoint, God to anoint our heart daily with the promised instruction of the word of God. So that we'll be able to keep our heart with all diligence. The Bible says we should seek the Lord until he comes to touch us, to teach us. Uh, we should seek the Lord until he comes to teach us, to teach us a righteous to teach us a righteousness and to pour his righteous gift of salvation upon us. You see, seeking the law, we should never cease in our life. We should continue to seek the law. Look at the testimony our sister said 20 years. She said the enemy came to discourage us so many times that God is not answering you, but it never ceased. He was continue calling until the day he came, the day of our, the day of our deliverance. We should continue to seek the Lord from the day we give our life to Christ until the day He comes, until the day of our salvation, until the day of the 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 the, the, the eternal you know eternal the judgment that is going to 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 going to to describe to going to qualify us where we are going to spend our eternity. Do not say because I call today, nothing happened, therefore let me relax. Or even if he answered your prayer, you need to continue. Daniel was seeking the Lord until he answered. Even though God answered on the very day, but there is always power that is fighting to make believe that God has no answer. God is not answering. God is not hearing you. Your sin is so great. God did not say in any place that your sin, if it's great, I will not answer. If it's small, there is no small sin. God called every sin, sin. He did not say that uh, this is small sin that you commit. Eh? He said all sin will lead to the same punishment. There is no VIP in heaven to say that because he killed, his punish punishment will be only the fire alone is already a greater punishment for eternity. It's already created punishment in hellfire. Everybody that you enter hellfire, they are going to be consumed by that fire. Whether your seed was small, whether your seed was big, as long as you're already in that hellfire, you know that you are doomed for eternity. There's no way out. So God said he hates sin. He did not say he hates small, big sin, and he can manage the small sin. He hates sin. The word sin. There is nothing like a small or big sin. We are the one that trying to describe sin to say that oh, my sin is because I just said uh, it was just a small lie that God can understand. Who told you God said that a small lie you understand it? May the Lord help us because of the time by God's grace let us end here. So this is the message. We should learn how to seek the Lord. This is the time to avoid distraction. Destruction of looking left, destruction of another person. Hey, 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 they, just, this, they just started. They just started. They are now 50 something. Hmm. Only two years. Hey, blah, 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 blah. Only this one. We should not compare our challenges to any other person's challenges. Our challenges is different. And God will allow our challenge. Our challenge will come in our lives according to our capacity. You are, we are different to each other. We are not the same. What you can handle, I cannot handle it. What I can handle, you cannot handle it. So your challenge will be always different. The only thing that we have in common is our faith. I can encourage you by faith through the word of God that God is faithful. 
to deliver you. But you cannot compare that ah, my own is greater than yours. Ah, my problem is bigger than who told you. The same pain you are feeling, that another person is feeling it too. In his own way, in her own way. Somebody is feeling the pain of losing a child. Another person is feeling a pain of losing a husband. Another one is feeling a pain of losing a wife. Another of losing a mother. You understand? Another person have, and they, all of them, they are different way of handling their pain. They are different way of handling their pain. Somebody lose a mother, he have time even to preach to others. I know somebody lost a mother. She joined the program. They call her when the program starts. She, she, she after getting the news, she moderated, she moderated, she moderated. At the end of the service, after two hours, she now announced that, oh, uh, before we start, they call me, my mother died today. So your mother died today, you have time to moderate the whole program until the end. With that, I heard my mother died. I did not drink. I did not eat for one week. It's not the same, the same thing. We, but the, the way of handling is different. But it's the same situation. So we should not compare our challenges because we are different. What you can handle, I cannot handle it. Another person cannot handle my challenges. But you have something in common, which is faith. It is making us to believe in God. It said our problem is not bigger than God. If God can open the Red Sea, he will make a way, even in that your wilderness, that you think that you don't know where the water will come from. God said that he can make a way, and you see water. If we drink it, he will give you peace. May the Lord bless you. That was the message of today. May the Lord help us to continue to seek him in Jesus' name. Amen. Over to you now, Praise Master Jesus. We thank God for God. We thank God for the message of today. May the Lord bless you, woman of God. May the Lord bless you for using you to be a blessing to us, to, to, to speak to us, so for us to search our heart for us. You know, I thank God for God. God is so good to you and I. He doesn't want to miss you and I. He's bringing this message not to condemn you, not to condemn me for you and I to correct our ways before it's too late. Before it's too late, as the, as the word of the Lord says, said that our father he said that uh, slow to uh, yourself. He says so to yourself. The word of the Lord says you and I we should sow to ourselves righteousness, because our Father God is righteous. We cannot say we are working for the Lord we forgot about righteousness. We are for working for the Lord we forgot about holiness, because our God we judge you and I we, he, in his in his righteous way because he's, he's a is a just uh, our Father Almighty God is a just God. Father God is righteous. So you and us, he said, you and I, we should break up our fellow ground, our heart, our hardy heart that doesn't want to, 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 to obey the word of the Lord. Our hardy, our hardy heart, that stubborn heart, that we, that the we, that the, the stubborn we. You know, the stubborn way you can find it in the little children. It started from you. It started when you and I were born. That stubborn, that stubborn way. So that stubborn way, you and I must give it up. I know it, 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 it's hard to give it up, but by the grace of God, by the power of God, if you and I really seek our Father, if you and I really ask him, that way, that stubborn way will be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. That stubborn way that we don't want us to, to listen to obey the word of the Lord. And you see, as I said, it's not your, it's not your garment. It's not my garment. He wants you and I to rent. He wants you and I to rent our, our what? Our heart. It's that guide your heart. That's your heart. That my heart is the one, the issue of life comes from. It's there that the, the angers are coming from. It's there the lies are coming from. It's there that the adulteries are coming from. It's there that the hatreds are coming from. It's there that the, the, the biting are coming from. As he said to you and I, that he look from heaven to on this earth to see if, you, if there is any one of us that look unto him, that the one understand him and seek him. And he said, he found none. He found none. And here we are, we think because we have changed our garments. Because now our, our outward, every, everyone can see our outward is holy. But inside, is he holy? 
If our God comes right now, is he going to take you along? Is he going to take me along? Is you and I that know that answer? Is you and I that can answer that question? If he's here right now, are you going to go with him? Is he going to take you along? Is he going, am I going to go with him? It's me that we answer that question for myself. You, because you and I, we know our hearts. As the father, as the son, and as the, the, the daughter of God, the servant of God says, he said the heart is desperately, the word of the Lord said the heart is desperately wicked. Who can know it? At times you think you are so, you are so good. But the, the, the thing will just happen that you will say something, you, you yourself, you will be shocked. How? How did that say this thing? This, this word that came, I didn't plan to say this word. It happened. That is why you have to know your heart and my heart is desperately wicked. It's only God that knows it. You and I, that is why Father God said in his word, the word of the Lord said, he said, take it. I should take it. That I take I'm sunny. That I take because I'm preaching the word of God. That that that, that oh my when Father God calls, oh, when I close my eye in there, that we make heaven. Who told you? Who told you? I thank God for God. May the Lord give us the grace to walk in our heart every day. Make the Lord help each and every one of us. You know, when you are hearing about the turn away from your sin, or turn away from your sin, you said, uh, they, these are uh, sin conscious people. They are so conscious of sin, sin, sin. Yes, it's the thing that will take you and I to have fire. Father Lord Jesus came because of the thing that he wants you and I to save us from sin. So if you and I are hearing for you and I to turn away from sin, we must turn away from sin. We must turn away from that sin. If you and I want to spend eternity with Father God. If you and I want to spend eternity with Father God, Almighty God, because our Father, I thank God for God, I thank God for his word. I thank God for his word. I thank God for Jesus, our Father, our maker, our Savior, our Redeemer, his word. Our Father God is worthy. I thank God for the word of God. May the Lord give us a grace. As the, the word of the Lord, the servant of God, Joshua, in the book of Proverbs, uh, Proverbs and, um, and the one verse, the, 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 the verse 32 said, uh, for the verse, uh, chapter 1, verse 32 said, For the, the turning away of the, the simple shall what just lead them. You are hearing the word of the Lord. I'm hearing the word of the Lord. Don't I turn my, my ears away from it? It enters from here and from here out. Is that that word of the Lord that we are not keeping? Is that we said that they're turning because you and I we are turning away from the sample? Is that one that will slay that person? Is that the one that don't keep that word? Is that one that will slay that person? May the Lord give you another grace as we are hearing the word of the Lord and put it in practice. The practice, we need to put it in practice. As the word of the Lord came through, through the servant of God right now by the help of the Holy Spirit, it's not just she's talking to you or she's talking to me alone. The word is talking to her. The word is talking to me. The word is talking to you. Not because she's the one that opened her mouth, Holy Spirit is speaking it out. It's not the word is not talking to her. It's talking to every one of us. Because you and I, we are still here on this earth. Until that day, your, your father, we said, uh, uh, your chapter is over. My, uh, let me close the, the, the book. Your, 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 this, this earth, you are finished. Your, your day, that complete. We are not there yet. That is why Father, Lord Jesus Christ, in the, in the soul said, strive to enter. Strive to enter the straight gate. So you and I can also, we, could, we cannot say that I am tired. I have been trying, I have been trying, I have been striving to enter. To, to, you still have to continue. I still have to continue till we get there. See, that poly gate is open for you and I. We should not be tired. I thank God for the Holy Spirit. I thank God for the Holy Spirit that dwells in you, that dwells in me. 
He's our helper. That is why you and I must draw closer, closer, tight and tighter to the Holy Spirit. That is why it's here. To help you and I, to sustain you and I every day. Father Lord Jesus, that's the word of the Lord. He said they will call upon me. He said, then they shall not, then they call upon me. But I will not answer. I will not answer. They shall not seek me early, but I shall not be found. For the that then they hate knowledge. The knowledge of God. May the Lord give us the grace not to hate his knowledge. Not to say not to hate his knowledge. He said, and I did not choose the fear of the Lord. If you and I say we love the Lord, if you and I say we love Jesus, we don't fear him. There is no fear, there is no love. The one you love, you reverence. The one you love, you honor. The one you love, you keep his word. So if you and I don't keep his word, so we don't love him, even though we profess that I love Jesus, that is love. You and I must keep his word. May the Lord bless you and I, may the Lord hear, help each and every one of us to walk on our hearts, to run away from evil ways. And the Lord bless you, woman of God. We thank God for this word. We thank God for waking us up for us to sit up and check our heart. The enemy of your soul, the enemy of my soul, working hard for you and I to hate one another, working hard for you and I to be bitter against one another. Because he knew if you and I hate one another, there is so heaven. He knew when you and I, we are bitter against one another, there is no heaven. But it makes your heart, makes my heart whispering against somebody in your mind, in your heart. Oh, this person did this. This person said this. This person look at me this way, this way. This person didn't greet me today. This person, oh, said this thing. Oh, he's just talking to me indirectly. He's just talking to me. That is the word of the enemy. To get you upset. So when you are upset, where do you think you are going? If uh, Father God just uh, came, uh, if uh, the, uh, Lord Jesus Christ just appeared, then you are accept, as, as, uh, uh, accept against what somebody said or what somebody do or the, how the person look at you. Where do you think you will go? Where do I think I will go? Let us watch. Let us watch closely. The enemy of your soul, my soul, is not sleeping. He's not sleeping. May the Lord help you and I to overcome every day to overcome it. As the word of the Lord said, you are now. He said, sin shall not have dominion over you. She shall not, sin shall not have dominion over me. So when you say that uh, all those things that the uh, Father God said, uh, in those things that is in the heart that defy the heart, He's staying in you. That means sin is having dominion over you. You have it in dominion over that. We have to cry to Father God to deliver you and I from that sin, not to have dominion over you, not to have dominion over me, for us to be able to overcome. It is possible for you and I to overcome by you and I seeking the Lord every day, bringing our matter before God, laying our matter, our situation, bringing discussing with Father God. When the enemy whispering things, evil things in your heart, bring that matter to God. Father, I, I, I don't know. Father, please deliver me. I just say this person. But Father God, I hate this person. I don't know why. Please deliver me. Give me grace to love this person. Father, I'm bitten against this person. Father, I hate this person. Father, I know and this, uh, what this person did. Oh, this person, I heard that he gossiped about me. I heard that he talked about me. Father, please help me to forgive. Help me. If you are not bringing matter to God like that, like you are not bringing matter to our friends. You now have a friend. When something happened to you, you want to call your friend. You know what happened today. You know where what happened on my way today. You know who I met today. You know what that person said today. Exactly. Let us have that relationship with our father, discussing everything to him. And he will direct you and I so that you and I will not fail. Because if you don't bring the matter to him, the enemy will dance that thing that you or that somebody has said, that thing you have heard. He will bring it, he will dance it, dance it, dance it, dance it, that your heart will full of bitterness. 
And Father God doesn't want that for you and I. May the Lord help all of us. May the Lord bless you, woman of God. We are going to pray for the woman of God. First and foremost, let us pray for ourselves. Let us give forth the grace. Let us ask Father God, give me the grace. Give me the grace to rent, to rent my heart, not my garments. Let us pray. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my Lord, and we are calling you Almighty God, Father, you are our Lord, Father, you are our Savior, give us the grace, oh Lord, to rent our heart, not our garment, oh Lord, give us the grace every moment of the day to bring our matter before you, lay our matter at your feet, oh my God, you are there to help us to solve our problem, oh Lord, oh Lord, my Father, help us to see you, oh Lord, help us to seek you all the days of our lives, oh my God, Father, you are the one that knows our heart, you said that God your way, which you guide our heart diligently, not of it, the issue of life. Give us the grace to guide our heart diligently, Father. In the name of Jesus, now my Father, please, Almighty God, we ask you, Father, break every strong way in our lives, break every strong way, oh Lord. Father, we ask you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for the woman of God whom God has used to be a blessing to us for more grief, for more anointing upon her. In the name of God to replenish unto her the virtue that went out. Let us pray for her. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God, we thank you for your servant, Almighty God, for your using her to be a blessing to us, oh Lord. And God, we are grateful, we are thankful, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my Lord. And as you use her to be a blessing to us, we are asking you, Lord, Father, bless her, return in the name of God. Father, feed her, mighty God, with your fresh anointing, the virtue that went out of our replenish unto her father. We ask you in the name of your please, Almighty God, arise and fight her battle for her, Lord. Any power that want to attack her because of this message, oh Lord. Father, let your spirit raise a standard against them in Jesus' name. Father, build the hedge of protection around her and around her household in the name of your Father, continue increasing her in your knowledge, oh Lord. All your wisdom and your knowledge and your understanding for your glory in Jesus' name. Father, hold her to the end in the name of your Whatever the enemy planning to take her away from you, it will never succeed in Jesus' name. Be with, her, be with her, Lord. We ask you, Lord. Father, we plead the blood of Jesus Christ on now and our household. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Father God, we see your message. We see your message with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Father, mighty God. We, your children, that are listening right now, but I let this one, Almighty God, to change, change, uh, transform our life. The one that we come across again to watch it, to love Father, speak each and the one we, we, we one of us, Almighty God, and let this one, Almighty God, bring tra transformation to us in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord in Jesus' name. So, right now, it is our time for contribution time. Contribution time. Oh, servant of the Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. The tithe and the offering. If you have your tithe and the offering, please bring it and let us thank God for it and pray for it. Thank God for the offering and tithe as Father God says in his word. That, that uh, you and I, as a, as a children of God, we should bring our tithe. Our ten, 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 oh, that is uh, the, the one out of uh, ten, uh, one percent belong to God. Out of hundred, ten, 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 ten belong to God. So all your income that comes to you, Father God, you give a tithe to God. We should not cheat our Father. We should know that you want it to be well with you and I. We do. We follow the obedient, obedience and the of follow his word and keep his word and God will continue to reward. It's not because God needs your money, need my money. No, it's just the act of obedience and we continue blessing you for you, obey him and do what he's saying to you and I to do. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus name as we are, as we are preparing for our, our offering. And a tight, I will, I will sing to the glory of God. And let us sing to the glory of God. Amen. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I will praise you over all. Oh, praise the praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I will praise you over. Praise the praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I will praise you over. all. Oh, praise the praise the Lord. Praise Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I will praise Jehovah. Oh, praise the Lord. Let us pray for our offering. 
Hallelujah. Let us pray for our offering. Oh, Heavenly Father, the King of kings, the Lord of all the nations, so then, Father, we thank you for this opportunity, Father, that you have given to us to bring our, our tithe and our offering to your storehouse, oh, America. We are grateful. We are thankful, Lord, Father. Bless this offering and the tithe for us, oh, America, for your glory in Jesus' name. And Almighty God, the one that didn't have uh, something to bring to put in their house and to bring to the house, uh, the basket to the Father, we ask your mighty God, please, that he provide for them, oh, Lord, uh, provide a good job for them, oh, Almighty God for your glory in Jesus' name. And Almighty God, we ask you, Almighty God, please, that the Almighty God throughout the week, Almighty God, and I use this week, Almighty God, let this week be a blessing to all. Let this week for, for each and every one of us, our family, our household, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Valasin Ritima. Thank you, King of Glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So we are going for our announcements. We bless God for God. We are going for our announcement. We bless God. So our weekly announcements, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays at 1 p.m. London time, pray without season. Tuesdays and Thursdays at midnight London time, midnight prayers. Uh, godly children in Christ, uh, we, we just want to say sorry. We are really... We apologize for, for these uh, days we, we, we announced about a uh, children uh, program. We are really sorry that uh, it was not, we didn't know that it was not going on. The one that was handling me, we didn't know that it was not going on. It was not taking care of the children, pre and teaching the children, but the Lord have mercy upon us for we announcing it every week that we didn't even know we, it was our fault. We're supposed to check. May the Lord have mercy upon us in Jesus' name. Now we are resumed. Please bring your children. Let them come and learn the word of the Lord in Jesus' name. So now our godly children in Christ, Saturday at 6 p.m. London time. Please bring your children, let them come and learn the word of the Lord. God will bless you and return, bless you in return in Jesus' name. So Bible studies uh, twice in a month at uh, 8, uh, 8, 8 p.m. at London time. Virtual summit time uh, twice a month, twice a, twi twice a month on Monday at uh, 8 p.m. London time. So weekly night uh, VG every Friday at uh, 8 p.m. Uh, sorry, at 11 p.m. London London time and uh, Sunday service at 4.30 p.m. London time. So every uh, first uh, Sunday of uh, each uh, month, Holy uh, Communion, please uh, join us as Father God's in Lord Jesus Christ said we should do it in remembrance of him. Every first uh, week of uh, the month, we have a fasting and a prayer to uh, dedicate the month uh, into God's hand. May the Lord bless you next month. Strength. May the Lord strengthen you and I to join. May the Lord help us in Jesus. name. May the Lord bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank God for today. We thank God for this service in Jesus name. So right now, I'm going to call upon uh, the servant of God for the benediction. May the Lord bless you, ma'am. Amen. Let us pray. Ancient of day, Father, we thank you. We thank you, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, for your goodness and mercy upon our life. Father, we thank you for the love that you have for us, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, you are merciful, God, you don't want us to perish, that you give us your word, O oh Lord, Father, to, for us to amend our ways to change. Father, we pray that, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, the word that you hear today, you are not going to condemn us, but Father is going to prepare us, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, to help us, O oh Lord, Father, to check our life daily, to take heed, O oh Lord, Father, to keep our heart with all diligence, because now we know that there is an issue of life in our heart that you want to. We pray, all of us, sanctify our heart, Lord Jesus, Father, in a way that you obey all your commandments in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, give us the grace we cannot do it alone. We need, all Lord Jesus, Father, your instruction, all of us. We need, all of us, the leadership of the Holy Spirit, all of us, to guide us, all of us, in all our ways in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we love you. As we are leaving Zoom, we are not departing from your presence, O Lord, Father. Continue, O Lord, Father, to increase us, O Lord, Father, in your word, O Lord, Father. To have an appetite, O Lord, Father, to be addicted, O Lord, Father, to, to, to your word, O Lord, Father, to get to be more closer to you, to get to know you more in Jesus' mighty name, Father. Give us that grace, O Lord, Father, to know you more, O Lord, Father, and to obey you, O Lord. We want to meet you in heaven, O Lord, Father. We want to be where you are, O Lord, Father, to spend our eternity with you, O Lord. Father, help us, O Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus. Those that are strong, you, O Lord, Father, have me some day. Lord, Father, deliver them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Give us the grace, Lord, Father, to prepare ourselves and to be ready, Lord, Father, for the coming.
coming of our Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let us share the grace and good fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abound with us now and forevermore. Amen. So surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. A few seconds, silence, please. Amen. God bless you all. Shalom, shalom.